What's up? We're Tactosa, and you're watching The Cookhouse. Order up! I'm Kyle, I'm the vocals. I'm Joseph, I play guitar. I'm Vendel, I play bass. I'm Jacob, I play guitar. I'm Christian, I play drums. Tactosa originally formed when me and Kyle met up on a Craigslist ad, and we were playing guitar in a different band. And then we separated from that band and then decided to start something new. And we got in talks with um, a drummer. Uh, we recorded our first EP, which is three members. Um, and then we added Jacob later on. And then after our first show, um, we then added Chris and Vendel. And the lineup has been like that ever since. Yeah. Yeah. A little uh, shady Craigslist meetup. Craigslist meetup. And I was, and I was, the drummer for the X. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we all met, so we all met, all three of us. And I, I knew, and I, I, knew, I, knew, I, knew, I knew Joe in fucking middle school, for like, literally, or no, sorry, uh, high school. And we, uh, we had like little garage bands, and really it was just him playing drums and me playing guitar. And, uh, for that, like, all of high school, so. I was like, I need another guitarist, and I was like, I got a guy I could hit up, and here we are. The rest is history. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Uh, uh, okay, so I hate this, but, <laughs> but but I just wanted like we were so we were originally gonna be like a scene band kind of thing. So we were looking at these like stupid long names, like you know, like I wrestled the bear once, stuff like that kind of name. And then we were like, no, we can't do that. I was like trying to be edgy and cool, so I was looking through Google of like you know nicknames for like different drugs and stuff. Like you know, I wanted something that nobody had ever heard of. And there's this word called. Takatosa, which is like a slang word for LSD. And I was like, well, that's a little too long, but we like how it sounds. So we're just gonna cut the A out and then we were left with Takatosa. And it's been hell ever since. Like literally everybody asks us what it means. And I had to tell that story so many times and like, <laughs> which, and then, you know, and nobody pronounces it right either. Like no, no offense. Like we just played a show <laughs> recently in South guess. Carolina and literally the, the guy was like, Tocasta. welcome up to Takasa. <laughs> and we're like, uh, I'm not gonna be rude because he's doing us a huge favor. As far as writing goes, it normally will start with guitar riffs. Like me and Jacob will send iPhone messages back to each other uh, with different guitar riffs, and then I will drive down to Melbourne, or he'll drive up to me in Daytona, and we'll live session them out. And then when we meet up for practices in St. Pete, we will normally go to Vendel's house, um, yeah, demo them out. Um, Chris will add his input on drums, and then Kyle will write lyrics, and then we just kind of meld it all together. I think we're still trying to figure out stuff like me. Uh, like we wrote one song together. Yeah. All the other songs were already like either done. Like or written like, in a bedroom. And yeah. we really look up we're to like old to bands out. that used to like write live. Like we really like like you know live jam sesh writing and stuff like that is really important to us. We just don't have enough time to do it. Like literally- We all live so far apart. Literally on our last tour, like we played a song that we never play and, and we were just like, okay, we can't end like this because it doesn't sound good the way it ends. So we improvised a breakdown for it. And like, that's a perfect way that we write songs. Like sometimes literally on stage, we'll like make stuff up, mm -hmm. you know, which if it sounds good, it sounds good. <laughs> we went back and forth for a while, like with some names that we like, didn't really love. There's a lyric in the song that says "sink or swim" in it, and I, you know, I really like that. And then we solidified it, and then I looked it up, and it's like, oh, there's a falling in reverse song called "sink or swim," <laughs> and it's too late. And there's like 50 metalcore bands that have "sink or swim" song names, and I was like, oh, okay. Band well. we're playing with on this Wednesday has like yeah. an EP name, "sink or swim." <laughs> do they? Do they actually? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You live in your lane. You sink and you swim. Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, I always try to write lyrics like with a with intention and like meaning or whatever. And it's something like this is my first band where I've done lyrics, so it's like I've it's been a learning process for sure. And this one it was like, you know, I, I try to write lyrics as like one line chunks, and and I think it kind of shows where like something that it really means a lot. And then I have like notebook pages full of that, and then I pick the lines that are similar to each other and I throw them all together. And the the story that started to come together is like you know, about morale, like mor mortality and like death. Cause I'm an EMT and like, I see people, you know, hospice patients and stuff like on the verge of dying all the time. And sometimes they say things to you like towards the end and I write it down and then, you know, it, it all kind of came together where there was a lot of like emotions that I wanted to convey about, you know, morality and mortality and death and stuff like that. And I think it came out pretty good the way, the way I wrote it. 
somebody noticed the the the, the yeah, girl. We, we, it was. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was an accident. Like literally, we had the girl from the first cover, and we're like, that's awesome. And then we did the girl from in 1621, and we're like, okay. That's pretty cool. And then we were like, wait a minute, like she kind of looks the same. Like Jacob drew the 1621 girl. And then we started making up this story where it's like, okay, we have this character in the first thing and she's like experiencing all these things. And then in the second one, it's like something happens that's traumatic where she gets blood splattered on her she face. She no longer has the blindfold. She no longer has the blindfold on that she's wearing in the EP cover. And then the third one is like her face is blown off. And in a weird way, like we're like, it kind of looks like she put a shotgun in her mouth and she, you know, <laughs> shot herself in the face. So it's like, if you want to connect the dots, we're not going to say it's there. But if you want to say there's a woman wearing a blindfold, she takes it off and sees something that makes trauma, and then she shoots herself in the head. And <laughs> I'm you know, actually, I I'm like that the art styles change too. It's like one of them is a photograph, and then there's one that's like becomes a drawing, and then the last one is a painting. And I kind of really like how there's like an arc of art, of art styles that are changing. It's like, I'm like really surprised somebody like noticed like the, the the fact that every single one of our covers is a girl. <laughs> Don't I mean like it's it, I will say like we're releasing a song in March, and like it's not following that. Um, I'm not gonna say there's not gonna be a girl on the cover, but but, <laughs> but it is might not be the face, it you know is I mean? no longer related to this storyline. <laughs> Absolutely, yes, yeah. yeah. We're writing the EP currently. Like I said, we have a song coming out a couple months, March Fifth. and March 5th uh, on Slam Worldwide, and then uh, EP expected mid to late summer, and the song will be on there for sure. <laughs> the Slam. The two step, main riff. Main <laughs> you love the, the intro. The, 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 the two step. I definitely have to say. Yeah, the two I love step. two steps. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I it's such watch. a chunky boom, like boom, death boom, metal boom. two step two, which like is something that we were definitely transitioning towards is like more death metal and deathcore aesthetic and stuff. And we love bands that do that like big chunky death metal two step vibe. And I like like maggot riff. stomp bands all the way. And like I like groove. The main yeah. riff is pretty cool. Yeah, to be honest. Maybe I'm biased, I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we just we just got back from tour. We are always booking shows, we're always playing shows. A um, lot more shows. Yeah, a lot more shows with bigger bands too, which we're really excited about. Very um, excited. Booking another tour right now for March and then working on something for the summer too. But yeah, we're all, we're literally like almost every weekend. Like immediately after this, we're going to his house and we're demoing songs. So I mean, we're- We just love playing shows. And then we're yeah. playing a show Wednesday. And especially since we don't practice, we need them. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, shows, shows, music videos, and EP. That's that's what Come to the town, next like six months you. looks like. <laughs> Pepsi, Pepsi, Coke. Dude, no, dude I, I went to FYA, the hardcore festival, with a big ass uh, <laughs> <Pepsi> <laughs> so shirt on me, and I'm on all footage. Of yeah, hey, yeah. hey, five six recorded, and he's just this big blue dude running around jumping on stage. I, I think I'd also have to say Pepsi. Okay, okay you guys okay. are just okay. wrong. Okay, but cherry just, Pepsi over ch bad. over cherry Coke, but regular Coke over uh, regular Pepsi. Oh no, I take that back. I like yes, regular Pepsi. Okay, go backwards. We don't have that in Italy. You don't, yes, you don't have cherry Pepsi? <laughs> you have to. DC. Marvel. Marvel. Literally, DC only, <laughs> DC only has Batman. What else? You were so wrong. What are you going to watch on, on DC? Bro, it's I not like, about okay. watching it, bro. It's about the books. It's about the I like, books. The, <laughs> I like this. This man said I read the manga. <laughs> You can get an idea of how hard it is to agree on stuff in this band. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's bad. I wish, does Marvel have their own combat game? Does Probably. Marvel have Injustice? I don't think so. Oh. Marvel yes, Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> that oh, game sure. sucked, though. The new, the new Batman's gonna be sick, and I can't wait for that. Yeah, you're right, okay. Uh, I'm Marvel, when a good Marvel movie comes out, DC, when a good DC <laughs> movie comes out. Yes. Underground, underground show underground. because we'll never get a full festival. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, underground show. No, underground show 1000%. We just played a house show in Atlanta, which is like our favorite place to go ever because it's just full of like awesome. old like school punks movie. like <laughs> in a backyard circle pit and it's like I know it's probably because the rooms are smaller, but it feels like there's always just more people that care when there's a when it's you like can a smaller show. Faces, you yeah, can see it's there's better interaction. Yeah. I never saw escape room, but are people like being murdered in saw rooms and not in escape rooms? <laughs> no, they get murdered in the escape room too. I've seen both of those movies. Saw because saw sounds cool. I just yeah. grew up. I just grew up <laughs> with the saw traps. Do people live in the escape rooms at all? Like, do they survive? No. Okay, only one person. 
That's better than saw. I'm gonna go with escape rooms for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I, say saw room. I want to be able to say I survived the saw room. I think that sounds more hard. It depends who's making the though. traps. <laughs> it depends who's making the traps in the saw room. Because some of them were like gave you a chance, and then other ones were like no, no. no. One of them. But that's from some software. of them are just like fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Warzone. Warzone. Neither. Literally. Neither. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, the Witcher Three. <laughs> I only play Fortnite. I play Fortnite, Fortnite once. Even the word Fortnite makes my skin crawl now. <laughs> I can't even. Fortnite, Fortnite. The game. There was a kid playing Fortnite at our last show in like an arcade, and like everybody was like, every time they got a kill, the whole, the whole thing would scream. And she was like four. She was four years old and she was playing Fortnite, dude. It was they, like, they cared more about her Fortnite game than our show. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Vampire, Vampire, but let him win, so I can be one. Whoa. That's, oh, that's, no, that's, yeah, that's, that's dark. That's I'd rather, emo, bro. <laughs> you know, va vampire, because I feel like they have so many fucking weaknesses. I could throw a piece of like garlic bread at a motherfucker. Yeah, like, like, yeah like, they got they got so many weaknesses. Like, I don't have any silver laying around, but I definitely got some garlic bread. Just chilling. Like, <laughs> I have a pizza. Vampires, vampires are like goth, honestly. Dude, they are. Killer. Vampires are cooler, too. Yeah. We Waffle hit Waffle House, House every Denny's. time. Waffle no, Waffle but he's House. wrong. He gets Denny. outvoted every time we go to Waffle House because it's cheap and the food is consistent. And it's consistently got, garbage. It's got a mat. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Our sponsorship. Why are you <laughs> no, no. You just, like, yeah, you just lost us a Waffle House sponsorship down the line. It's Damn. consistent and the vibes in a Waffle House are always immaculate. Mm. You go in there, it's full of people that are intoxicated at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> after a show. It's beautiful. I love it. The chalky chip waffle and the orange juice hits different. Chocolate milk. The like $4 orange juice. Stay independent. Independent. Depends on the label. Oh man. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'll be like, so obviously, nice I would love to stay independent, but like, you know, Pure Noise Records. Where they we have no, it. we have no plans for a very, very long time, no. because it's just not something that interests us. I mean, I, that's something that we're very blessed on is like having people who are much further in their music career like give us insights on things, and like we didn't really understand what a label was. Honestly, it, for a while, and then I had somebody sit me down and was like, "This is actually like what a label does. These are the pros, these are the cons." And we're like, "Oh, okay, like we could do most of that, you know, for DIY for a long time, and like, and we don't necessarily need to give up a lot of things." To I think do that. if an opportunity arises that we think is is worth it, I feel like we wouldn't. We're not like against ever. You know? We will sell our souls to get on Maggot Sound, though. One hundred percent. I will be the first death for more than that. Maggot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wings or burger? Yeah, but burgers come with fries. That's the thing. Burgers. You can't wings. wings come with wings. fries, but I'm gonna burgers. say wings. Only wings. at only at like burgers. Buffalo Wild Wings, which is not you wings that are worth it. I am a burger. You get fries at Wingstop too. I'm gonna say you, wings. Wing, wings 100 percent because there's way more variety and blue cheese. Straight up, bro. Nah, that's, that's all you need. You did not just say blue cheese. I did say <laughs> blue cheese. You got blue, a problem with blue, blue cheese? Blue cheese on wings is superior to ranch. 100 oh, percent That should be a question. That should be a question right <laughs> yeah, now. Blue, blue cheese versus ranch. Like. Good movie. No, TV Good shows, because you can rewatch TV shows like so many times and there's so much stuff like in them. You know what I mean? I feel like a movie, you can only come back to like, you know, Maybe like twice. Yeah, I'd say a good TV show. Like, I'd say good movie. Like, I'd say movie I just don't totally have the focus to watch a full like movie. But you I have the focus to watch yeah, you months of shows. A good yeah, scary, a good yeah, scary you movie. Because there's like not really that many good scary movies anymore, and it's like if I find one, a good scary. Movie. Like Breaking Bad should be the golden standard. I take like it depends on the kind of show. I feel also because I, I feel like I take a good anime over like a good like live action show. Yeah, I see you. No, <laughs> over like a good live action show, but I would take like a a reg like a live action movie over a, a anime movie. Like oh yeah, one hundred percent. No hate on Studio Ghibli or anything, but <laughs> you just lost our Studio Ghibli. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Bar soap. Shower Bar gel. Soap. Oh, y'all. This guy hates the environment. Like, what the fuck? Bar soap because Dr. Squatch. I will go for that Dr. Squatch. I will go for that Dr. Squatch uh, sponsorship any day. Do, do we all get the same Dr. Squatch ad on? Yeah, yeah. And, I, yeah. and I buy them. Like, all slaves <laughs> advertising. I have like five bars of pine I've got a monthly <laughs> subscription, man. <laughs> for real. We're selling our souls out right now. Like, <laughs> Dr. Squatch, if you will. Dr. Squatch, we really love it. <laughs> We all agree. Ancient Roman times, bro. Because he's Italian. Ancient Greece, obviously. Because like, why obviously? ancient Greece? Because the gods are cooler. Yeah, you, they're wait, cool. what? They're not like, walking around the, the streets. The gods were real walking around could. ancient Greece. 
Hundred percent. Romans had Greece, gods. For sure. Yeah, and they were just rip off of the Greek gods. Yeah, but cooler. Ooh. Then they had Jesus Christ after a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess. Chris I'm gonna say Greece. Greece is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Greece for sure. What's up? We're Tactosin. You've been watching the Cookhouse. Stay tuned for the music video we're gonna drop on Slam Worldwide, March 5th. Also, make sure to catch us at any local shows near you. We're playing one February 9th at the Brass Mug in Tampa, and we also got something in store with Distinguisher in April. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.